We got it. Look who I found. Hello. My buddy from way forward. Hello. Look at that. Look at that debonair. Very, yep. very demure, <laughs> as the kids are saying now. Yes. Uh, Clock Tower Rewind is um, what we're talking about here, but you have a whole backstory on how this kind of came about. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, as, as I was describing, Brick City Girl Zero was a port plus. It is a game that never made it over to the States. Okay. I believe that was from 95. This is actually from 1994. Ooh. So, Clock Tower Rewind, you. You might have played Clock Tower on PlayStation 1 okay. years and years ago, but that is actually Clock Tower 2 from okay. Japan. Okay. This is the whole like Final Fantasy. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, ar I'm already is, lost on this yeah. one, yeah. So, and then part two is, I believe, like a part three that came out in Japan. So it's it's a whole mess. Okay. Thing. So right. this game never came out in the States. Ah. So what we did with Rib City Girls Zero is, hey, here's the game that never made it. It was on the Super Famicom. We translated it. Uh, it's in all the different languages. Um, but we also added in stuff to where you could play Clock Tower as it was intended, but Rewind adds in the stuff that was like missing from the original version as well. There's oh. new cutscenes, there's new weapons that show up, there's Haunted Doll, oh, and, like, God. other encounters. The Scissor Man can jump down from uh, top levels ah! above you. Oh my goodness. Um, more places for her to hide. Okay. So oh, it, that's good. So it's like a director's cut. I see. Version of it. Okay. Uh, we also have Muriel Cartwright. She actually did a whole animated intro. She's from Skullgirls. So nice. yeah. So we added a lot of stuff to this for like a modern audience and like, hey, here's stuff that was on the cutting room floor. That, that's not a Scissor Man actual like, right. pun. Cutting, cutting, <laughs> cutting room floor. I hear yeah. you. All right. I, I yeah, like. I see what you that, did there. You're in this mansion. It is a point and click. One of the first like. I don't know, survival horror, point click. I mean, you are very defenseless against Scissor Man. You right. are hiding and running. And sure. That's like another quality of life thing that seems like it should have been in the original. Right. You can run upstairs. You couldn't in the original. Oh, okay. Now you can run upstairs. Nice. We have running upstairs technology. Wow. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> Finally. It only took us 30 years. Yeah, so I, I'm going to go over a bullet list really quick. Okay, Rapid let's do fire. it. Here we go. Restored extra room, restored cutscene images, restored corpse and haunted doll encounters, more hiding places for Jennifer when being chased, more places from which Scissor Man can attack. Run on the stairs, running technology. Okay. <laughs> uh, stop and rest at any time. Scissor Man can jump down from upper levels. Two additional situation specific weapons, restored cutscene and puzzle toward the end of the game, and various bug fixes and quality of life. My like, goodness running gracious. Running on the stairs. Yeah. So even if people have even played, like, let's say the, the Super Famicom version, this is like the amped up version. This is like, this is, this is, this, might, this, can, this might be the optimal version now. So that's the rewind version. Yeah. You can play, or if you want to experience what it was supposed to be like, if it right. ever released in Super Nintendo. Sure. You could play that. Oh, I see. So we give you oh, okay. two, like, this is all, like, all this stuff. Yeah. And this is the rewind version. Like, it would just be black on the outside, but it's like, yeah. hey, here's... Stuff. Stuff. Check out. <laughs> we like stuff. I like yeah. stuff. So you can. And that's a, that's the rewind feature too, right? Yeah. So. I mean, obviously, it's you know, Clock Tower Rewind. That's another thing too. With uh, when you say Scissor Man, it's not just like a pair of like like these are like hedge clippers. It is creepy, creepy coming at you here. I mean, they are still technically scissors. Well, they're sure, just, yeah, but they're comedically large scissors. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, these are these are your. Uh, Mayor of a uh, mayor of small town USA ribbon cutting ceremony scissors. Yep. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be coming after you. Maybe he was originally the mayor of town. And he still has this. I don't know. And I mean, it might be like his name's like Kevin Scissorman. It could, well, you know, it could be. And he's just like he's like, oh, I get a scissor man. Yeah. I have giant scissors. It's a terrible. I mean, I, the good, like, good, I get the correlation. Good no, name for a Batman scissors. villain, I guess. Scissor but man. Oh, scissorman. scissorman, yes, yes, it's Frankenstein. <laughs> I mean, Igor. Yeah, that's right. See? Yeah, I love the fact on this game because we were talking, uh, my friend Joe and I were just talking about this game recently where the Clock Tower games have always been great for less of the, it's more of a psychological thriller and less like horror for the sake of horror when you think of horror like back in these days of games. Zombies you know monsters jumping after you but this is so like you can almost feel it coming up on you and more of the anticipation style yeah and i did when i was younger i did play the playstation one version and it terrified me <laughs> right. I, I, oh yeah i hear you me too so defenseless in this game right but that's part of that's part of the whole thing it's like yeah you just have to hide yeah and you're just just going for a walk just walking in creepy now, house here and this is the thing like 
definitely at a showroom floor where it's loud and there's a bunch of people around. This works so much better. Go home, play with the lights off. Yep, headphones. Yes. Man, that, that is the optimal experience. Uh, do you have a release date yet? Uh, we do not. It okay. Is, it is very, very soon. Or tentative. Okay, so, yeah, so maybe even late Q3, Q4, like this year maybe. Maybe. Okay. Yeah.